Well, I got all this stuff cleaned out, pounded down, scraped out of there with my wire brushes, swept out of there. And then I started looking underneath these stairs. And you see this stuff here? You might be thinking, what is that? And I can tell, see there's a crack up there and you can see daylight through there, see there? So that tells me this adhesive is not working and it should come out of here. See there? Same thing. All the way along there. And that it, adhesive, that's probably uh, like a construction adhesive. I use liquid nails. It comes in a little cartridge that you can put in a caulk tube gun and you put it on there. Well, they didn't put it on very well. And granted, this was a long time ago and after they installed all these 4x12 uh, treads and these 2x6 risers, the 4x12 shrunk a little bit and that could have pulled this away. And so that's going to keep, if I don't do anything with it, these areas are just going to be slightly loose and I can tie all this in better if I redo all this stuff. Now I was initially looking at, oh, maybe I'll just caulk right above it with some more liquid nails. I don't know if I want to dig all that stuff out. Well, and you notice it's only on the outside of the of the stairs it's not on the inside this is this is the inside this is the outside of each step and see that's just not doing anything is it look at that and I thought maybe I should scrape it out and so I started scraping it out and I'm going to show you a little bit of that and what I do I've already done not there, the next one. See, I've scraped that one out. That one, there wasn't even anything there. There's another one down there. Ooh, I missed that one. I missed that one. Way down there. I'm gonna have to get that. Glad I'm looking at this. I scraped there, over there, right there, right there. And that stuff, it's, it's okay to bring it out it's just gonna kind of tie the stairs together and it would be better to do it on the inside of here I'll still caulk on the on the exterior side because that's where the rain and moisture is coming in and that's why these this deck and the stairs had all that all that crud coming out of here and see down here they didn't even do them at all did they now if I could put a little in there uh, that'll help kind of tie those things together. Okay, they even on some of them they even put some on the sides. Oh, there, I don't see it, but that that would keep your your four by twelve from moving around if you do right in there. But if you do this this edge here too, that'll prevent anything from moving, especially if you have two by six stair treads, two by eights, two by tens anything like that. If you can get underneath your stairs, look and see, you know, depending on how old it is, look and see that, hey, maybe I can tighten those things up. They're, they've been squeaking too. This will keep them from squeaking. And that even goes for a floor. If you can get underneath your, your crawl space, if you have a wood floor and you've got a persistent squeak if you can get underneath there and find out where the 2x6 is going or the 2x12 whatever the your floor joist up to your your subfloor you go ahead and caulk this and that'll prevent that from squeaking do it on both sides and that'll prevent your floor from squeaking in certain areas depending where it is if you got a soft spot in your wood in between the joists like like right here, let's say. I don't know if there's anything you can do about that other than dig it out. Maybe you can fill that up with construction adhesive with a putty knife, wipe it off, let it dry, and maybe that'll prevent that. See, they didn't do, they didn't do anything on the sides. They were just more concerned about these two main areas. So 
I'm going to get my stuff on and I'll show you what I do. Okay. I'm just sitting on my, my bucket. I think you can see that. They just got this right up on the half joist hanger. I don't know why they did that. But see this here? I know it's not caught up there connecting both pieces up there so that tells me I can scrape it out. And I got a really stiff putty knife. You can't use one of those thin ones. There's thin ones and there's stiff ones. See there? Look at that. This stuff is still pliable, but it's failed. And I'm just going to keep going along. And I'm not gonna, I don't have any, I don't have any liquid nails with me. And I use that stuff for everything. That's the one I use. It's called liquid nails. Let's see if I can, if you can see this. Yeah, you can see that. You don't have to use liquid nails. You can use any kind of construction adhesive. You can use your hammer too areas where you can't get any other way and actually I was using the hammer down lower because I didn't think I could get it off of that edge this way so I can I can feel the uh, 4 by 12 just vibrate a little bit and if I even even though that they have these little clips on there that's the only way they've got this 4 by 12 attached to the stringers they don't even have it nailed to the riser because the riser is a 2 by 6 and the shred is the the, the stair tread <laughs> is a 4x12 so they couldn't nail down. If it was a 2x10 or something they could nail down from the top down into there and they would have been better off. But see at this point you don't have to put any nails. You don't have to put any at an angle up into here. That's how they attach the, the 2x6 to the bottom of the stair tread. The top edge of the, of the stair tread as they screwed it down at an angle. But you don't have to do that up there. You're liable to crack your your stair riser. I'm just going to fill that with liquid nails. That's all I'm going to do. My, my good old my good old construction adhesive. Let's, let's do you another one just so you don't think I got lucky. <laughs> and as for that platform I got to build, it's got to be about 16 inches higher than this bucket because I set the bucket up on top of this. How did I do that? I set the bucket on there like that and then I shimmied up as, hard, as far as I could go and then I reached up comfortably and then measured about how far that was from the from the top. So I know I got to make it about 16 inches higher than this and I actually I got my uh, eight foot ladder and I thought, hey, I set my eight foot ladder up in there and sure enough I, it could fit, but then I didn't have enough room to, to crawl up in there. And then I thought, well, maybe if I buy a six foot ladder, like this orange one, but a six footer, maybe I could squeeze that up in there and stand up on that and work on that. I could probably do that in a pinch, but it's, I'm still going to be going up at an angle. I'm still going to be stepping on just one rung. And it's going to be hard to turn around on that ladder and stuff. And that ladder is going to cost me, oh, I don't know, $100, $150.
at the store and I don't even know if I'm going to need a six foot ladder anymore. And I thought, well, I'll go to the store and buy some wood, build a platform. And I got to thinking, hey, you know what? I pulled off some OSB plywood and I, I can figure out, get some sturdy pieces of this. I've got some, two, some extra two by sixes that I tore out that are still in halfway decent condition that I could probably build a platform for nothing. Then I can build a, a nice square platform. I can turn around on it, work on this wall, flip around, work on this wall, flip around, work on this wall. It would be nice and sturdy. And I think that would be better anyways because then the ladder is not going to be in my way. Because if I get the ladder in there, the ladder is going to be six foot tall. It's going to be way up high. And that's going to be kind of in my way and restricting on trying to get up in there. So, you know, think about your project. Think and see, do I have something I could reuse? Because I, I don't really care about it. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to chop it up and throw it away after the fact. Anyways, stupid me, I was thinking, well, okay, now I've got to buy two more 2 by 6s at 7 or $8 a piece or $10 a piece and some plywood and all that. I've got $25 into building a little pad right there. Or I can buy a ladder, but I forgot. Thinking, hey, why not just use this stuff? Now this stuff is old. It might be hard to nail into. I may have to pre-drill some of this stuff to put the nails in. You know, but hey, I'll do it because it won't cost me anything except the nails.